greetings to every one of you in this video we are going to discuss a topic introduction to machine learning let me start with uh, the definition of machine learning machine learning it is a subset of artificial intelligence that enables systems to automatically learn and improve from experience without being explicitly programmed in order to perform any particular operation we have to write programs and we tell the computer to do particular operation but here the computer itself learn from the data the learn from the experience so we are letting computer to learn analyze the data and learn it from experience so that is the main concept of machine learning so it focuses on development of algorithms that can analyze and learn from data to make predictions and uh, the decisions some of the examples spam detection in uh, emailing that is one particular uh, example one particular application with the help of the machine learning we are doing this uh, operation the spam after detecting the particular mail is a spam mail so that will be stored in a separate folder called spam it is a kind of uh, filtering so using this uh, particular uh, technique your system it is uh, protected from the virus or some other kind of uh, the intrusions number 2 recommendation systems actually this particular uh, the technique it is uh, used in so many apps like netflix youtube amazon so based on the surfing experience of the particular user so the system itself uh, recommend some of uh, the movies or uh, the videos or uh, the products then medical diagnosis system so depends upon the given data the medical report or the medical uh, the patient's uh, reports the system is able to that is identify the disease diagnose the disease then automation of cars so nowadays uh, you know the tesla they have this uh, cars without uh, drivers any particular point the car can um, start and um, without driver it can um, reach any destination any destination point so these are some of the examples of machine learning there are three types of uh, machine learnings number 1 it is uh, supervised learning number 2 it is unsupervised learning number 3 is uh, reinforcement learning supervised learning it uh, involves training data so with the help of this training data the algorithm is uh, learned so algorithm is trained on labeled data set number 2 the features and the labels so mainly the features uh, they refer the input variables and the labels are the output variables being predicted used in the decision making the third important uh, concept involved in supervised learning is uh, learning process so the algorithm learns to map input feature to this output labels by minimizing a function called loss function so actually the loss function it measures the difference between the predicted label and uh, the actual label so what is the difference between this uh, predicted value and the actual value so that uh, gives you the that is the loss function so we have to minimize this loss function so that is another important thing in order to that is uh, learn the information from the data some of the examples of um, supervised learning algorithms linear regression logistic regression decision trees support vector machines that is svm and neural networks algorithms 
neural networks is it is uh, just uh, simulating the model of the human brain so these are some of the examples of supervised learning algorithms number 2 is unsupervised learning which deals with uh, unlabeled data so data of uh, different uh, types data of uh, different varieties will be available where uh, the algorithm must find the patterns and structures in the data without any explicit programming so automatically if the data is available in different form and uh, the algorithm must find uh, some patterns or uh, some structures that is uh, available in that uh, data set so normally uh, it has to do some kind of uh, the operation such as number 1 clustering so the clustering is uh, grouping of similar data points together based on their feature so same uh, type of data or data with the uh, same type of feature will be that is collected together that is what is called uh, clustering so it is nothing but grouping of a particular type of data then similarly the dimensionality reduction it is another important concept associated with uh, unsupervised learning reducing the number of features while preserving the important information if we have uh, too much of uh, features and we can reduce that uh, features but at the same time the important information should be that is uh, preserved then association rules that is what i said like clustering it has to that is uh, find out what type of the association or relationship existing between the different types of the data so discovering interesting relationships or association between the variables in large data sets that has to be that is find out by this algorithm then the algorithms that is used unsupervised learning k means clustering hierarchical clustering principal component analysis a priori algorithm these are some of the examples the third one it is the reinforcement learning mainly it contain a very very important component it is agent so agent is the learner or the decision maker interacting with the environment so the external system with which the agent is interacts that is nothing but the environment okay so agent interacts with the environment and uh, he, what is that he learns he gain knowledge the reward is the another important uh, concept of this uh, reinforcement learning it is nothing but the feedback signal received uh, by the agent indicating the success or failure of action so based on the knowledge the agent is doing some action so if it results in success he will get rewards and if it is a failure automatically the agent get the penalty that is positive and negative okay so that can be that is done with the help of um, the system a method trial and error so are making an attempt and if you get the success you will get the reward and if it is a you will get the failure you will get the penalty so that is the error the fourth important concept it is learning process as i said the agent learns to take actions that maximize the cumulative rewards over time through the exploration and the exploitation okay so with the help of uh, you know this exploration and exploitation you know the cumulative reward it is increased as for applications concerned the reinforcement learning it is used in uh, gaming robotics and uh, this uh, recommendation systems note the advancement in uh, machine learning it is a uh, deep learning it is a uh, neural networks with multiple hidden layers capable of learning hierarchical representation of data you know that what is meant by neural networks as i said it is a, a, a simulating model of uh, the human brain actually how the human brain it uh, works and based on that uh, this model is developed that's what is called a neural networks then future direction we have um, this uh, explainable a so if you get the solution and how that particular solution is arrived 
so the system must be able to explain the reasoning of getting that particular solution that is explainable a then this uh, transfer learning so concept or knowledge used in solving one particular problem that is can be used in some other problem okay so that is what is called a transfer learning then federated learning it is collaborative learning on uh, decentralized devices so devices are located at a different uh, position and uh, from that uh, you know we will collect the information and based on that uh, it was that it learns the things that is federated learning then finally continual learning it is nothing but lifelong learning that is how actually the human beings are doing so what actually we are doing we are learning throughout our life okay so as for uh, challenges concerned we have uh, bias it is a challenge so a particular person who is developing this machine learning algorithms he may be belongs to one particular uh, the domain or one particular section that particular algorithm may not be suitable in all the situations so this is uh, because of the biasing and because of biasing we will have other problem is ethical uh, consideration so ethical problem will come like uh, all these algorithms whatever the machine machine learning algorithms that is developed and they should have transparency and they should have accountability right and uh, so what actually we have discussed um, in this video like uh, i gave the introduction about uh, machine learning so definition then different types of machine learning supervised learning unsupervised learning then uh, reinforcement learning and uh, different types of uh, the algorithms what actually where actually we are using machine learning and finally that is um, re note regarding this um, deep learning future directions of machine learning and finally challenges okay i hope uh, you understood the concepts thank you keep watching bye